We're here at the Great American Bash 2001. I can't believe this is happening. It's not butter. That too. I can't believe we're still on air. So, yeah, so we have a, you know, Shannon Moore playing video games backstage. This is phenomenal. So we got some stuff going on um, that you'll be proud of, all right? Such as, it's a dual brand. Uh, both brands are going to be on this pay-per-view, meaning that we're going to have a lot of intertwined stuff going on. So kicking off the show. Three count segment. Kicking off the show. Are you serious? No, we're kicking off the show. None other than Sting and Ric Flair and Eric Bischoff. Because Bischoff's going to tell them, you know, your boys are going to defend your belts tonight. Yeah, but also well. have Scott Steiner. He's our main boy. No, they don't need to be a ringside for this one. They have their own segment. I got. I can get to it in a second. Okay. So kicking off, we're starting off with everybody's favorite stuff. Um, the 420 Express. Terry Funk, Sabu, RVD, your boy Lance Ooh, Storm. They can take on the discos. Yes, thank yeah, you. Yeah. We got our That's mind rolling. We're all on the same page. So Norman Smiley. This is never a good idea. Norman Smiley. This is so great. Disco the, Inferno and who, and um, first, like, who are we missing? Part? Alex, Al, um, no, no, Norman, no. Disco, Ernest. Ernest the Cat Miller. That 70s guy. Not yet. Uh, he's a different he guy. Be in that, he could be in a segment with them. Could. So there's that. Get them out there for like five minutes, you know. And then boom, four and four instantly. So. Uh, two v two v two v two. Four and four. We got, uh, I, wish you, I wish you could do stables. I wish you could just like throw a stable in there. But, alright, let's do this. We got. Just type Ernest it in. Cat Miller, just type them in. We know Alex everyone. Alex Wright. Norman Smiley, Disco Fever, Inferno, whatever. Uh, so there's Disco Fever, and then we got Sabu, Art. Terry Funk, Rob, Rob Van Dam, and Lance Storm. Best of luck to you guys. We clearly know which team is going to win, by the way. So we'll give them like 15 minutes out there. Pretty big match, if you ask me. Then we're going to go straight in here. We're going to have a quick uh, segment where... Um, Scott Steiner is gonna see uh, Stacy yeah, Keebler, Stacy Keebler backstage, one. Tori Wilson backstage, and he's gonna be like Keebler or not Keebler's Tori. I see you've been working out, so we're all gonna allude to that. So got that one right there. You, like you have a two minutes. and a two thirds chance. Of me not saying you got all five ass. Alright, so we're gonna do one on one now. Uh and this is where the title match is gonna come in play. This is this this the Steiner versus Sting. I'm kidding. Wait, so that, I'm kidding, that. kidding, kidding. That's the that's the main event. Flair will defend his title against, against Rick Steiner. You know, against um Wasn't Booker, Rick Steiner the one who attacked him? <laughs> He, yeah. he attacked him after the tag match. We'll just make it a freaking four way. You know what? A triple threat, you mean? Triple four way. Who else are you throwing Shane in? Shane Douglas. <laughs> Shane Douglas, Rick Steiner, Booker T, and your boy Flair. Best of luck, whoever comes out Wait. champion of this mess. Wait, we're having a fatal four way for the world belt? Yes. The world heavyweight belt, sir. I don't think those two men even, like, should be considered. Just it just seems random. No, there they they beat each other up a couple weeks ago. After that match, <laughs> after that match, we're gonna have a little segment with uh, Ch Chavo and Lash Larell. They're saying that you know they've had such a great friendship over this past week that. How it, about they fight Styles? It Daniels, might yeah, it might come title. it might come, you know, crumbling to an end here tonight, but hopefully not. So we're gonna see. Those slashers taking on um, AJ we have Styles. Them the tag team. Yeah, I forget what they're called though. Uh, you named them. Influential. Influencing Styles. There we go. Thank you. For the tag team titles? Get them yeah, for the Cruiserweight minutes. titles. Cruiserweight okay, tag team titles. I, I like that. If they win, yeah. then you know, then we could break up the low slashers. And then after that, we'll do our our Ultimate X match. 
for Rey Mysterio's title. Yeah, the most American match to show in the Great American Bash. <laughs> Max size. Calm down, Lenny. All right. <laughs> so we got. We'll put. Like. At, we'll put our boy Yang in there. Show, right before you Yang, cut off, Ray, Shane Helms, I want to at least Ray, I want to... uh, Noble, Jamie Noble, uh, and, and Evan. Evan, just Nova. Do Evan. No, right. Nova. Nova. Oh yeah, wait, really no, yeah, Nova. His shot. Nova, because okay. Nova did. Scott Nova Steiner. did a great job. So. Yeah, he made Scott Steiner relevant during that match, so and that was great. So you know, his reward for shows... title. Only it, way this title can switch could shows happen. is Jimmy Noble wins. Could happen. Right. I hope Nova wins. After he this, deserves it after Dustin this Rhodes will be backstage with like, uh with the DDP and Kevin Nash because he's gonna be like, I need to work out for before my big match because he's gonna have a big yeah. hardcore match tonight. That's all this weight. He's gonna have a uh to do, match. uh light tube match. Okay, I guess he's not what? He's lingerie. In, Do lingerie against Kevin uh, Nash. He's going to have tables. Kevin Nash did wear the thong. Texas death match. He's going to have a Texas death match. So, your boy, Dustin Rhodes, is going to have a Texas death match with none other than... Chuck Palumbo. No one likes Road Warrior Chuck and... Chuck is a great idea. I like that one. They'll have okay. their 10-minute, 15-minute match. <laughs> 10 minute as he continues to add 15 time minute, 15 minute hardcore then we'll have a little freestyle angle with um who's our okay we got big Vito, uh yeah oh the yeah bull. the yakuza thing and yep. johnny the bull talking backstage you mean the mama lukes the mama lukes yes they'll be talking okay. backstage then before the title match it, wait wait can i pitch this then you a six it. man tag team match the, between the the Mama Lukes and well, Yang's the three in members match. of LWO. Yang's already in a match. Is he? Yeah. In the we'll, we'll, match? Take, we'll take him yeah. out. We'll take him out. We'll take him out. We'll take no, him out. keep Yang in there. Do two on two. They have to defend their tag titles. All right. Two on two against okay, two yeah. though. Do you want to do um uh Buff Bagwell and David Flair? Yes. Cool. Oh, I, I was like gonna say Psychosis and uh. We'll do two v two v two. Throw in Las Parkers. Las Parkers. No one likes the Parkers, though. No, it's not that they don't like them. It's that they're not over, and that's what we keep booking them on is we'll over. The Destructoids. Yeah, we'll but if we Mama put them Lukes. with the belts automatically, I don't think they would get over. Yoga I think Crew. People will get more annoyed. No, because Yoga Crew will instantly win that belt, probably. I don't know. Jeff Jarrett and uh, or Buff Bagwell and David Flair. What if the Yoga Crew wins the belt? I or, bet you, I bet you, I want to see the Destructoids win the belt. All right, World Tag Team title right there. It gives them like 20 minutes. This is a pretty big match, actually. Following that, we'll have our last segment of the night where Jeff Jarrett and is going to be, is gonna be, is gonna be talking to his entire group, saying that he doesn't know what's going to be happening tonight. So he wishes, you know, everybody uh, the best of luck in case he doesn't make it out alive. Is he going to be put in a cage match with Conan? Chris Harris and James Storm. the animals match against Conan? Dog collar. One-on-one. -on -one, he'll be put in a casket match. They already wait, had that. Wait, oh, they had a buried no, alive. There's a difference. No, wait. It doesn't make any sense that he would be scared <laughs> after being in a buried alive match. All right, how are we going to one up then? An octagon. A house well, both fun match. Okay, that works. No. That's a horrible... No. Do a um, strap. An, I, uh, an I quit match. Strap match? I like that. Strap. I quit's pretty good, too. I, I quit means more. Uh, yeah. So we do Jeff Jarrett. And Conan. And uh, Conan. Kind of upset we don't have Humongous There's on no, the show yet. There's no titles on the line on this one? No, it's just a no. grudge match. Straight up war. Oh, okay. And now the main event. And then the main event. Um... Two out of three falls. Now the main event is Scott Steiner versus uh, Sting. Yeah, it's going to be an Iron Man match. Steiner and Sting. 30 minutes. We just say Steiner. random match types in there. World. There we go. May I just say the 
I, I was very impressed with Scott Steiner last last shows. So hopefully this turns out to be one of the best matches in his career. Where unlike you know when he fought Triple H doing only body belly to bellies. Body belly to belly. Kicking off the Great American Bash of 2001. Whoa, whoa, whoa. we're starting off great. We got Eric Bischoff coming down to the ring. I'm better than ever. And then Ric Flair comes out. Wow. I hope you and then, wake up with your and then, the and then Sting's like, wow. And he comes out. Oh and they're all, they all got all the titles. They're staring back at each other. Eric Bischoff says, both of you men defending your titles tonight. This will be beautiful. Ric Flair, best of luck to you. Sting, best of luck to you. So... Wait, After that, I just realized what we forgot. What? The television title. We, we vacated it. We got rid of it. It doesn't exist anymore. We, we retired it. It never even had a champion, but we retired it. We'll bring it back in 10 years. After, <laughs> anyways, we got uh, 420 Express. Uh, they get to the show, and Disco Inferno is partying outside, and they get into a giant fight, which leads to uh, 420 Express getting the victory over... The disco club, um, uh-huh. so which pretty good did, match for all four of them. Well, it did great. Terry Funk power drived Alex Wright for the win. It's pretty decent. He after, broke his neck. After that, uh, your boy Scott Steiner, he's backstage. He's looking. He sees that red jumpsuit. He's like, "Dang, Tori, how do you fit you all? That? How, how do you fit all that in that jumpsuit?" And then Stacey Kilber comes by, and she's like, "Oh, you pig." And then Steiner's like, why can't you do that? We got the bad one on Saturdays. Oh. Oh. Stacy's Ooh. mom is not going to like what St- uh, Steiner's like, Stacy, go back to teaching. Tori Wilson, where's that puppy out of yours? And then they have like a little scene where they're just talking. Okay. After that, Ric Flair defends his title. Still world heavyweight champion. Greatest WWE world heavyweight champion of all time. I don't want to hear about Bill Goldberg. <laughs> Next match. <laughs> After that, Lash LaRoe, Chavo they're having a very emotional sit-down. Chavo's like... Come on, Styles. Chavo's like... Oh, man, what if we... Uh, he's like, no I know cares. I know you're a nerd. I know you're a dork. I know I've hated you for a long time. I still do. But we've had a good run. Best of luck in the ring. It, Hopefully we can get the win. If he loses this match, we gotta change his gimmick. They have a very emotional... It's not suited. A very emotional... Very, very emotional time together. And, uh... It all pays off as Low Slashers was able to defeat Damn Influencing it. Styles for the Cruiserweight Tag was, Team Titles. He was the weak link, though. We need to do something with... with... No, they're still champs. They, we don't have yeah, but Lash yet. is not suited for this gimmick, we'll give him and he gimmick. dragged down the match. It could have been possibly a B if he didn't drag down. That's what you think. That Anyways, Rey true. Mysterio, begin the win, obtain that WCW Cruiserweight title also. Pretty great for titles so far. After that, your Whoa. boy, your boys, uh, of uh, the yoga crew, they're out there. They're in their yoga. They're in the track suits. Big, big Kev, uh, you know, squatting up and down, make sure you ain't gonna tear a quad tonight. Dustin one. Rhodes, Dustin Rhodes, one, two. Wait, how's it go? Fitness gram pacer test. You know, one. Multi test and test. Oh. Two down. Beep. Ping <laughs> and uh, <You're> right. <laughs> and uh, Dustin Rhodes comes by. He's like, I need some advice tonight. And DDP's like, Have you tried my yoga? And so he flips out the yoga mat and he starts doing some yoga before his match tonight. And uh, it pays off. It's Dustin Rhodes able to get the win over Chuck Palumbo, retaining Just that hardcore Palumbo. title. Freaking great, great. After that, your boy Big Vito <laughs> joined the board back there with Yang. They like, I can't understand him. Gonna have to teach him some Italian. So, Italian, he's speaking with his hands. He's speaking with the he's speaking with the hands, throwing the hands up and all that. So uh, we see destructoids. Are How would I guess that? How would I guess that was gonna happen? Destructoids are your new W C W World Tag Team Champions. They beat the Yoga Crew and Buff Bagel and David Flair. Not That's just the Mom Lukes, but we we gotta the stop the Sean Stasiak and Stacy Kubler thing. Yeah, They're an awkward pair. Yeah, so, I was gonna say who's Sean Stasiak? He's a nobody. Why is he with uh, Stacy Kubler with her on two different shows? 
It's okay. Well, it's just for it's just for on the big pay per view. Oh All right. man! After that, I'm surprised the segment did that. It's because we have James Storm, Chris Harris there. They're like, why are they there? But Jeff Jarrett's saying, you know what? I don't want to quit. I want to make sure Conan quits. That was that. James Storm was very underwhelming. They fight. Jeff Jarrett wins. Figure four leg lock, causing Conan to say, I don't know. I quit. 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 So that makes Jeff Jarrett two and zero oh. against Conan. Against Conan. I got that right. After that, Sting and Flair mutual respect. Flair says, "I'm still the high flying, wheeling dealing." I hope you wake up in your shoulders already. Bro, feeling, who still of a gun. <laughs> I gave, take my belt. I gave Bam Bam and Lux so good the drugs. So, you know, Flair's out there. He says, best <laughs> of luck to Sting. Hopefully you walk out with the title. And Sting does. Now, what? One, Damn it. Only the tag team titles changed hands tonight, if you think about it. It's wow. big. It's crazy. So now both sets of tag team titles are on. Paper, you got 76 well. plus 14. Pretty good pay per view. We used too much David Flair in the show. Oh, giving hugs too. David Flair. David Flair, I'm giving you a hug because you, God knows you need it. All right. <laughs> and uh, who no, else? No, you gotta hug Scott Steiner. Scott Steiner did very well. And he took the loss. Like he was giving. Praise for a great performance. We're giving hugs. Da- no, not David Flair. David. He needs like giving hugs. He needs Please. to get his shit together. <laughs> No, there was nothing wrong with him. It was the fact that we had the, the you know, James Storm, Chris Harris, the, the no-name guys, Confederates, most wanted. They specifically separated his name from everyone else. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Triple H fixed his what broken was, nose. Was I don't know. The wall returns. Freaking, you know what that means. The wall? The wall. Dave Flair that? doesn't connect with the fans. Kevin Nash says fire him. We were great, guys. We did great. Look at that. Looks like a. I I wanted us to do better. Four year old or something like some kid drew it. It's really bad. Uh, Vince Russo drew that by himself. You leave him the alone. Wall. <laughs> Vince Russo is not even with the company anymore. All right, the wall. What what show is he on? He's on Nitro. All right. He looks. What? Why do we have the wall? Because he's the wall. Okay. Uh, before you stop this video and yeah. everything like that, may I say something? You may. So I think a personally, I think personally for Nitro, we're gonna have to pull some great talent from the developmental, Why? not just for wrestling, but for commentating because our commentary team is suffering. They're fine. No, they are right now. Michael, they are right now. Michael Cole and JBL levels of annoying to the fans. They're fine. They're bringing most of our segments down. It's a good balance. Yeah. We needed the camp count. It's a very weak, he's a very weak color commentator. But Stevie and Ray can't wrestle anymore, apparently. Then fire his ass. But his That's brother's money. Booker T. And? Make him his manager. Yeah, make him a manager. He's and he's only like, known for being a color commentator, not a manager. Someone else. They won't manage. Make him a be, road agent. He's not worth. He's not worth the paycheck. Like the guy is dragging down our segments because he has this not. stone cold face. You know how he's not. I, I'll tell you why he's not. You want to know why he's not? Why is he not? Because none of our segments have color commentary. That's Every time true. he books because a segment, you could e- the people watching this could easily see that most of the time it says the color commentator Steve Ray dragged down this segment. Every time, I've kept my look, eye on those look things. at the segments. Every we time could have been out. in more A's during that pay per view if Stevie Ray that's not was true. not. No, just that's not true at all. I'm saying that's not true. No, we could have gotten way higher if our color commentator was doing better and not just being straight faced. And plus, we also got to respect the cruiserweight title more because. We literally defended the Cruiserweight title mostly every week. <laughs> I'm going to give you the Hulk Hogan treatment again. Good. But the prestige on it's pretty good. It's. it's yeah, but, like, it's... it. it look at the easy... Oh, man. Like, we need... 
like the title becomes more meaningless when you just put it every single week. And I think Have we you need reminded to use... that the United States Heavyweight title was not on the line. I told you this that seventy two was not also that seventies awesome guy was not on the card. You know, I said that. You know what? We'll make sure he made events nitro. Probably not, but we'll at we'll least him we'll versus Ric Flair. Put that just back do that. Champion versus champion. Oh gosh. Okay. Hell, make it a make it a tag match. Those two taking on the tag champs of Mark Jim Jack and the dude. What? These guys are on a different brand. And wait, wait, la, uh, uh, why are they on? Why do they hold Slam titles? And Chavo Guerrero. You're thinking of a different show now, Malin. Chavo Guerrero's tag team partner needs a new gimmick oh, because well, the gimmick right. is failing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking of a different show. <laughs> we're both we're thinking of both thinking of different shows, all right? No, I was but thinking of okay. the right show. It's okay. It's okay. We're doing good. We're doing great. Tag titles are where they need to be. <laughs> Anyways, like, see you on Nitro.